Hi guys, it's Arch on my now. How's everyone doing? Today I am reviewing Bluebell by Penhaligons. I've had this sample for a really long time and never really took the time to smell it or look up the fragrance. It's just kind of been sitting there. And upon spraying and researching this fragrance, it's really inspired me to want to review this. And I don't see many reviews of it on YouTube, so um, I wanted to do it for you guys. This fragrance, oh my gosh. Okay, so it came out in 1978. It's one of their really, really old ones. It's a floral green fragrance. And the first thing I want to say before I spray it and tell you the notes is that this fragrance is really thought-provoking and really transportive, or is it transportative? I don't even really know what the word is, but it really evokes lots of images, and those are my favourite kinds of fragrances and the ones that really inspire me to want to review them. So, this is Bluebell, and something that I learned a couple of years ago that I should have probably known from a younger age, being a very British person, is that there are certain products that we sell over here that have what we call a royal warrant and if there's a royal stamp on the, on the product it means that the royal family I think use or have used or at least approve of the product. Now I've heard that this fragrance was a favourite of Princess Diana so this fragrance is, is was and or used by royalty and it just makes it all the more special. Anyway, it's supposed to be evocative of um, a bluebell forest in the rain. It's floral green, it's a little bit aqueous, and I will go through the notes with you. So the top note is just citruses um, of a nondescript nature. It, they don't tell us what they are, but it's just citruses. The heart notes are hyacinth, rose, jasmine, cyclamen, and lily of the valley. Cyclamen's a tough one. It's a fantasy flower. It's a real flower, but it's always fantasy or that perfumer's interpretation of what that smells like. I'm not sure what it smells like so I can't comment. And then the base is galbanum, cloves and cinnamon. So I've had my sample for a while. I've nearly finished using it. I'm going to re-spray it on my hand now. This is something. This is really something. Um, so you have to remember it's from 1978. It feels very, very floral as you can imagine. And it makes, it springs to mind for me immediately this image of, I feel like I should be out having a spot of tea on the lawn, darling, you know, with a doily or something. It feels kind of classy in a really vintage way. It's fresh, it's not a heavy fragrance. There are a lot of characteristics going on in this one and it's so fun to smell. It's, it's so floral that it feels like pollen and I say that about certain florals that you can almost feel the pollen in it, and that's what's amazing. This isn't going to be for everyone, you know, I have read some horrible reviews about this, but for what it is, you have to appreciate it. I can feel a lot of stuff in here. I first can feel a very fresh, watery greenness that's coming from galbanum. I can also feel quite a lot of spice, actually, which really makes the fragrance step into almost carnation territory, if you like carnations. The cloves and cinnamon really play quite a big role in this, and they make it feel like that. It feels like a fresh, green, watery carnation almost, so it's spicy and green at the same time. It's almost aqueous, and it's a very solid, I am gonna be floral, and you're, you better like it sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it just makes me, it really evokes images of quintessentially British people in the 70s of high society though, not um, riffraff as they would have been called in those days. It's like a cacophony, is that the right word, of florals that all come together to create one. I'm not sure it even smells like bluebells. I've never smelled a bluebell before. Maybe they've put these notes together to recreate that smell. But they're such beautiful little flowers, aren't they? They just hang there in their little, you know, groups, just chilling in forests. And it really is not necessarily pleasant, but it's definitely a thing. And it is one of the most iconic fragrances to come from Penhaligons, which is why I wanted to review it. This is such a gorgeous spring floral um, that feels like a nod to a different time, which is great. And it's just so very itself, 
That's a really weird thing to say, but that's how I feel about it. I always say that I feel like Hyacinth does give a fragrance a bit of a vintage feeling. It's not something that you see used prominently in florals nowadays. It's going down a, a white floral route now for most fragrances, I think, or even roses, which are, you know, never going to go away because they're amazing. But it's really nice to have Hyacinth at the forefront, holding on to that vintage feeling. With all of these other tones, the spices are, are in there. The spicy floral that's green is the only way I can describe it and it feels like maybe an illusion of what a bluebell would be if that makes sense. You can feel the spices more intensely when you smell it up close but in the air it's it's more one noted and more solid and you can just feel it, it just smells so like unmistakable if I now that I know this fragrance if I smell this on someone I'm gonna know that it's this it doesn't really smell like many other florals that I've tried before, so that's why it's kind of special and, I guess, legendary in Penhaligon's world. It's got really great lasting power. Um, it's never, I don't think, super morphing. I like that it kind of stays where it is uh, in this bubble of this British countryside, English country garden floweriness. And this is just really an event fragrance. I mean, I can imagine wearing this to something like a wedding, maybe, or it's even a bride wearing it. If you had like a vintage, gorgeous wedding in a country house somewhere, this would be the perfect fragrance for a bride. So if you want to smell like an English person from the 70s that was high society, maybe try this one out. I get at least seven or eight hours out of it. I've worn it five times now, and I've only worn light sprays of it. I can't imagine if you sprayed the bottle, it would probably be maybe overwhelming. So it'd probably last you a long time if you bought it. <laughs> but um, that's all I'm gonna say about it. It's really gorgeous, but you have to really like your florals to appreciate this one. Anyway, if you guys wanna get this fragrance, head on over to latino.ko.com. I will post links below. I'm out from my note. Click my logo down there to subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Goodbye.